Hát ez alig még csütik. Csak... Hi, this is Mesh Rundown. If you enjoy watching movies as much as we do, subscribe and hit the like button down below. Today we're going to be doing our review for Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter is based on the Capcom game of the same name. It's directed by Paul Anderson. It stars Mila Djokovic, Tony Ya, and Ron Perlman. The movie is about a group of soldiers sent to the Monster Hunter world and really looks at their quest to get back home. So we tried to think of what themes were prevalent throughout the movie. And honestly, there were very few layers in this movie. It was very straightforward. What you see is what you get plot line. Yeah, simplistic almost. I think sometimes a bit too simplistic. Yeah. I think if we're really going to look at themes, maybe there was a theme that, you know, America is strong and the soldiers are strong and they can always save the day. Even if they go to a world that they know nothing about, they're somehow able to surpass people that have been training and killing monsters for many, many years. And didn't quite like that. Let's look at the good. So we got a lot of exposition throughout the movie, but it was done through the eyes of Mila Djokovic. So she's in this world, she doesn't know what's going on. And of course, the other characters then teach her, they train her. And through them teaching and training, we start to learn about the world. So I think the exposition is definitely one of the best things about the movie. So we get that introduction to Monster Hunter without them telling us, this is the Monster Hunter world, this is what it's about, these are the hazards. We yeah. were shown, which is nice. And it's very nice for people who maybe aren't familiar with the game. Yeah. And then I enjoy montages, and they had a nice training montage. So that was kind of cool to see for me. <laughs> for me, the only problem with the montage is it seemed like the story took place over a couple of days. So she learned all of this in a couple of days. Yeah. It's a bit pushing it. Very deep learning curve. <laughs> yeah. What I did like, though, is the monsters. They were absolutely amazing. I think that the special effects, the CGI was done so well, and the design of the monsters were amazing, especially the Rathalos. I loved how they made that dragon with the beak. It looked like the way I think a dragon would be if there was such a thing as a dragon. So that was the highlight for me. And Yeah, and, and they were truly terrifying at times. The spider creatures the diablos and then of course the rathalos flying in and then like it makes you wonder could even a dragonborn take care of a rathalos yeah obviously <laughs> i also liked the armor and the weapons that they had i particularly like the armor i don't know if you guys have ever tried to cosplay before because when we did our first cosplay we didn't really realize how much armor needs to move and so our armor was just one piece. And it's very restrictive. But in the movie, they actually made it in panels. And those panels allow for movement. So it felt so much more realistic because I feel like Mila Djankovic could have actually gone and fought the monsters and not been restricted with movement in those kind of outfits that she wore and the armor that she had on. So that was awesome. Yeah. The armor was amazing. And I heard from some people, because obviously I haven't played the game all too much, that the armor and the weapons were quite true to the game. Even if the weapons were a little bit missized, they were still relatively yeah. accurate. And I know that a lot of people were very happy that they were eating one of the creatures and mentioning how delicious it was, because that was quite a nice nod to the game as well. And then one of my favorite characters was Tony Yeah, He just was fantastic throughout. He was stoic when he needed to be he was mourning his family when he needed to be he was funny humor actually came across very well when he was telling jokes even though we didn't understand his jokes necessarily all the time just it was he did such a good job i also think that as a character he's probably one of if not the only character that actually develops throughout the movie and you can see his growth you know from when he's alone to when he meets her and then later on when they're fighting together. So I really appreciated that. Yeah. That takes us to the bad. So like we said, it was a very simplistic story and it was very rushed as well. Like they had to get through to the next action scene and through to the next action scene. And let's stop for, no, we're through to the next yeah. action scene. Yeah, it didn't really give you any time for respite because there's this big monster fight and then you think you can have a breath and then there's another monster fight. And that's fun, 
and I usually enjoy it quite a lot, but it would have been nice if there was slightly more character development, especially for Mina Djokovic character. Or story. <laughs> or, the, yeah, the storyline in general. I think that would have been a nice break every now and then. Also, the movie relied heavily on this MTV-style editing where you get these short clips from different angles over and over and over and over, and it detracts from the movie sometimes, especially when you're having a little bit more of a quieter moment and they're all over the show with the editing. So I understand it's a style choice, but I did not enjoy it all too much, especially when it came to the fight scenes and that, because sometimes it got a bit dark and then you've got 600 cuts in two minutes and I'm struggling to figure out what's going on here at that point <laughs> that time. So it detracted just a little bit for me. And I think that definitely added to the rushed feeling of the yeah. movie. And also feel like sometimes when there's so much cutting and so much darkness that the movie kind of hides maybe some bad CGI or some rushed work or they just didn't feel like doing it. I don't know because you can't see so well so obviously the graphics don't have to be that great. And it's sad because the movie had such good CGI and the monsters and stuff were so amazing that I feel like a little bit more light, a little bit more opportunity to see some of the monsters would have been nice. Even though they did really show the monsters quite often, I felt like that's why I was very confused. Because yeah. why do you need to hide them and use such darkness so much when you did such a great job? Even the fight scenes we did see, they were good fight scenes. There was nothing wrong with the fight scenes. So to almost hide that as well, it was definitely a pity. Yeah. Like I said, when I spoke about the themes in America being all great and strong, I feel like Milo Djankovic's character somehow managed to surpass the proficiency of the hunters themselves in such a short time. And somehow she was the forefront in the battle. She was the badass. She was killing the monsters. But these people who've been hunting and doing it for their whole life, basically, were not as good as she was. And I think that's often what happens with being the main character of a movie. You some are able to surpass everyone else in a very short amount of time. And I just didn't like that. It's really probably the best superpower you can have is being the main character. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes, even though Mila Jankovic is a great actress for these roles, because she's quite stoic, and maybe that works sometimes, sometimes I feel like she could give a bit more. I'm also a little hesitant, because she seems to act in movies that her husband makes, so, you know, does she really deserve to have these big roles? Sometimes, I don't know. <laughs> I did not expect you to go there. It's like, what? <laughs> uh, it's true, though. Don't you ever wonder? Yeah, well, even in the trailer we're bringing up why are there so many Resident Evils made. Well, maybe that's why. Maybe. And the Resident Evils got bad. They got very bad. They just became a mess of... I can't tell you what the storyline was for the last three or four. Yeah. I genuinely can't. And I think they also, in Resident Evil, stuck to the very simplistic storylines and just focused a lot on making Mila Jonfish look badass and on the action. And yes, it's fun most of the time, but after five or six movies, it kind of feels like, meh. You could probably, if you blurred out the faces, I could tell you this director directed Resident Evil, and I could tell you that's Miller Djokovic. It, completely different because it's zombies and monsters, but it had a very similar feel to yeah. it still at the end of the day. I suppose that's not always the worst thing because mm. you know who's directing it, you know who's acting in it, so you kind of have a good idea of what the movie is going to be like so you know yes i enjoy these type of movies or no you know what i don't actually and then you know don't watch it yes but i think for the first one or two movies in a franchise it's fun but like with resident evil after the third or fourth it was just too much and then speaking of movies in a franchise i don't want there to be a sequel i don't think a sequel is needed is it's even earned from the movie. It's a good movie. It's fun to watch, but I don't want a second. I don't feel like, oh, I need to know more about what happened. Because they didn't give us all too much to start with. And then the end, a lot of people are saying it's a very open to a sequel. I feel like the end was very, shit, I don't actually know how to end this. Let's uh, just throw up the scene. And it was quite final to me, like, cool, let's be done with this now. It was very abrupt. I feel a little differently because I feel like 
there could be a second movie and I would be interested if there was a second movie. What I would want from the second movie is to have a better storyline. And I would want more monsters. Yeah. Because there were very few. And I would want more character development. So I actually care about the characters who die. Yes. But that's a completely different movie now. Maybe just a little <laughs> bit more of each of those would make a big difference. Yes. And it could steer away from becoming more of those Resident Evils and movies. And then... The last complaints I have, they made a big deal that weapons from our world can't damage or hurt or kill the Rathalos, kill the Diablos, kill any of the monsters. When we know for a fact that if wielded by the legendary hero Big Boss, our weapons do fine. So I, I don't see the problem, why that was such an issue. So overall, the movie gives you what it promises. There's not much to it. But it doesn't promise to be more than what it is. Very good special effects, very good monsters, good action scenes, the ones you can actually see. So overall, it was very fun. So our rating, for me, it's a six. For me, it's a six as well. So overall, it is a six. I think anyone who enjoys action movies, if you enjoy it, especially the first and second Resident Evils, you'll enjoy it. If you're a fan of the game, it might be nice to watch what they've done with it. I know there's been mixed reviews from the fans because some people have really loved it, some people haven't. Yeah. Let us know if you loved the movie, especially if you're a fan, or if you feel like they detracted too much and made it too simplistic and you didn't enjoy it. Bye. Later. <laughs>